A lot of times when I'm flying, I'll do a uh, fast battery, you know, where I'll really be trying to thrash it. And then uh, just to catch my breath and get in a little bit different mindset, I'll do some slow batteries. You know, if you're if you're always trying to go super fast, a lot of times you're you're not getting any better at being smooth uh, or finding new lines. You're just constantly flying your safe lines uh, that you know you're not going to crash and then you can get a little stagnant. So I'll fly a slow line, I'll fly a slow battery, I'll try new things. And that's what I was doing on this clip you're seeing here, flying slowly and practicing coming through this back tree part and then making a sharp turn and going around behind the barn. Um, so then I finished this battery and I put another battery in and I decided to go fast. And as I was flying through the woods behind the barn, um, my, I kind of just lost track of where I was going to go when I came out of there because it's a little bit different line than I usually fly. So my brain was ready to fly the line I usually fly and I went, no, wait, that's not right. And then I didn't know what to do next. And so my fingers just sort of automatically did what I had been doing before. And that resulted in this uh, oh shit moment uh, where somehow I managed not to crash. So I guess the moral of the story is no matter what's happening to your copter, as long as it's still in the air, keep flying it, and uh, and hopefully you'll get out the other side. Check it out.